YouTube, hey there, it's Casey Dimmon, TaxLawAcademy.com. Thank you so much for joining me as I record this episode for the Tax Law Podcast. If you enjoy listening to the podcast, make sure you check us out. There's a link down below. It'll take you to TaxLawPodcast.com. You can click on your favorite podcasting platform. You can take us with you on the go. But if YouTube is more of your style, if you enjoy the videos, that's perfect with me as well. Just please do us a favor and click that thumbs up button. Let's go ahead and switch on over to the audio portion right now and get started recording this podcast. Welcome to the Tax Sell Podcast, where tax sell investing is made easy. I'm Casey Dimon. I'm a tax sell veteran and expert. I'm the leading tax sell trainer, author of the Tax Sell Playbook, founder of the Tax Sell Academy, and I am your host right here on the Tax Sell Podcast. Before we get started, I wanted to first thank you for joining me on today's podcast and to ask you to take a few seconds out of your day to leave us a five-star review on whatever podcasting platform you're listening on, or if you're watching on YouTube, to click that thumbs up button. As always, at the conclusion of this podcast episode, if you're looking to learn more about investing in tax defaulted real estate, head on over to TaxLawAcademy.com. Again, that's TaxLawAcademy.com. There's a link down below in the show notes. Today, I want to discuss something with you that will change the trajectory of your business if you take it to heart. I really want you to focus and pay attention during this episode because it can mean so much to your business and, of course, your income as well. We're talking about becoming the expert. When we look at anyone who is ultra successful, most of them are an expert at something, right? Take a brain surgeon, for example. More than likely, they know more about the brain and operating on the brain than just about anyone in the entire world. There aren't too many brain surgeons that are out there. They're classified as experts. What about an athlete? Michael Jordan can be considered an expert at the game of basketball. We can also look at entertainment. For example, Elvis. He was pretty much an expert at entertainment in his day. I can go on and on with different examples, but the result is that all of these examples that I just gave you and many, many more, they prove that someone who is an expert in their field can not only dominate their field in many ways, but of course they can do very, very well financially. Now let's apply this to real estate. Let's start on a very broad scale. If you look at some of the real estate developers who are very, very large in the country. Some of the largest in the country, as a matter of fact, we can look at these names like Avalon Bay, like Simon Property Group, Kimco, Brookfield, and many other key players. I can promise you at the helm of these companies are experts when it comes to developing real estate in the United States. These are the largest developers in the country. On a local scale, you can probably point out a handful of different developers or investors in your area that seem to own all the properties and seemingly make a lot of money. They're probably experts in your local market. That's what got me started in tax investing in the first place. I came across a couple of these huge players more than 17 years ago, and they just intrigued me. And guess what? Those guys, the ones that tend to dominate the sales and make all the money, those are experts in what they're doing. They've got it figured out. Now, before you get overwhelmed with all this expert talk, what I want you to realize is that you should not be envisioning somebody who is, end quote, much, much smarter than you are in whatever it is. You should not envision somebody that has gone through crazy amounts of college or education. You should not envision somebody that has 50 years of experience or whatever else. I want you to understand that the pursuit of this goal is what will truly turn you into a successful tax investor. You don't have to be the world's leading expert to make lots of money, but in order to make lots of money, you must continually be striving to get better and better every single day as you get closer and closer to becoming an expert in whatever discipline you're approaching. If you do this relentlessly, then you'll discover that you'll gain more and more success every single day and every single step along the way. The expert that I'm talking about is not an end goal. It's not a destination. It's a journey. It's a journey to become better every day. So let's get into some specifics now. How can you work towards becoming an expert in this business, which of course will help you get better every single day, and ultimately it's gonna make you more money. How exactly can you do that? I've got five different ways that I want you to learn about in today's episode. The first one I want to address is the laws and the process. If you become an expert in this, you'll be well on your way to tax sell success. I've said it many times before, but tax sell investing 
It was not created by the counties to help people like me and you get rich in this business. It was not created for the investors. The entire tax delinquent system is designed to return properties to the tax roll as tax revenue producing properties once again. It is not designed to help the public profit off of the system. The end result, however, is that we can utilize the tax foreclosure laws to our advantage. We do actually end up profiting from the system. And we do also help out our community by putting these properties back on the tax rolls once again. It's so important that you understand how to use all of these laws to your advantage. You should know the laws in your state inside and out. You should understand everything in those laws. Follow them constantly for updates. These are your entire business. These laws are your business. It's not buying and selling real estate. It is taking advantage of these laws in an effort to make money and help out the community at the same time. That is your business. The tax sell investor who fails to comprehend the importance of the tax sell laws is not only foolish, but they're also going to be a very short-lived investor if they ever even get started in the first place. These same laws, of course, they dictate the process that's going to be used in your area. Know the laws, know that process. Number two, the second thing you should be working on becoming an expert about is the area that you're investing in. And there are countless ways to do this that I discuss in other videos and, of course, inside the academy. But if you know the area that you're investing in, you have a huge jump start with your business. Now, I'm not saying that you must know every single area inside of every single county that you invest in, right? Knowing the square footage of every clubhouse inside the gates of every exclusive country club in a 50 mile radius, while it might be impressive, it's not gonna help you a whole lot as a tax on investor. Instead, know about the specific areas that you're focusing on that appear on tax sale list on a frequent basis. If there's new construction activity going on in that area, fantastic, know about it. Know who's building that stuff. If Amazon is building a warehouse nearby, know about it. If the county suddenly issues a building moratorium on that area, know about it. Know the new restaurants, know who the biggest employers are, know everything possible about the areas that you're investing in. All right, number three, this one ties closely, which is to become the expert of the real estate market that you're investing in. Now, you want to know about the area. You want to know all the employers, the hospitals, the new developments, everything possible about the area. But now it's time to get a little bit more specific. We're talking about the real estate market, specifically in those areas. Simply put, the closer you are to being the expert in that market, the better chance you'll have of seeing massive success in that real estate market. If you're buying properties in a subdivision, for example, and somebody asks you, what are comparable properties selling for? Guess what? You should know down to the price per square foot what they would be getting. You should know every property that has been on the market for a long time. You should know every property that is just freshly listed. The ones that are under contract, the ones that are overpriced, underpriced, the price changes, the trends in the market. You should know everything by memory about the real estate market that you're investing in. It should get to the point where you are so familiar with that market that you likely won't even have to run comparables because it'll all be right here in your head. Do this and you'll know all the values. You'll be able to bid correctly, you'll be able to buy correctly, you'll be able to sell correctly, and you'll be well on your way to making money. It's that simple. The fourth thing that you need to focus on is become an expert in marketing. There is no way to make money as a tax investor unless you make a transaction somehow. For most, this will be when they sell the property. For others, it could be when maybe they lease it or something else, right? But until someone gives you money, you're not going to make a dime. And for somebody to want to give you money, they have to know what they're giving you money for, right? So you must market that property. The better you are at marketing the property, the more successful you'll become. And I could write an entire book and a course on just marketing real estate. There's so much to it. And it's always changing, especially with the speed of the changes in the internet. So I really urge you to put forth effort into learning how to market properties the correct way, the efficient way, the profitable way, where you'll get as much money as possible for that property in a manner that's going to do it as quickly as possible, with as little as possible invested in your marketing expenses, and in a manner that suits your style and your specific process. It's so, so important that you understand 
how to become an expert on marketing real estate in today's world. The last one is one that is frequently overlooked. I'm talking about creativity. Obviously, everything that we discussed to this point has a huge impact on the success that we see. And it is all required. Become an expert in all those things. You're going to be well on your way. But the number one reason that I see success in this business is because of my creativity, my ability to think outside the box. Now, I'm not an artsy guy. I can't draw for anything, but I can come up with some pretty strategic ways to make money on real estate. If you look at all the successful people in any business, you'll probably come across the realization sooner or later that they are doing something just a little bit differently. There was coffee before there were Starbucks. There were tacos before there were Chipotles. There were cars before there were Teslas. I could go on and on. The key here, the key aspect, is that somehow they put their own little spin on things. And it doesn't have to be industry changing like Tesla. And it can even evolve over time as you gain more and more experience on what works for you specifically. At one point in my career, I decided to put a few properties on eBay to market and to sell those properties in an auction setting, something that at the time wasn't done very often at all. While that approach does still work, what it did for me is it pulled me out of my comfort zone and it made me get creative on selling those properties. And based off that creativity, based off what I learned, it gave me many other ideas. Those ideas led to other ideas, which led to buyer's list and other very specific strategies that I use to this day and I wrote about in Tax Off Playbook. You should constantly be working on becoming more and more creative with your entire business every single day. Never let it get stagnant. If you learn to do this, if you learn to be an expert in creative real estate investment, you're going to be successful. It is that simple. There are plenty of other things that will certainly help you with your business. But if you master the five things that we just discussed If you truly are on a never-ending pursuit to become an expert in these things, your ability to succeed in this business is going to skyrocket. And as I mentioned previously, this is not as much of a destination of becoming an expert. It is a journey. It's a journey that never ends towards getting better on a daily basis in the disciplines that we discuss and, of course, others as well. So commit to yourself to get better every single day, and you'll be growing closer to closer to your goal of tax sale success on a non-stop basis. If there's anything at all that we can do to help you on this journey, we are here for you. We have over 500 plus videos on our YouTube channel. We post two podcast episodes every single week. You can even grab your free copy of Tax Sale Playbook over at taxsellacademy.com if you just cover the shipping costs. And of course, for the most detailed step-by-step comprehensive training that we offer, go to the same website, taxsellacademy.com, click on join, and become a member of the Tax Law Academy. Guys, I truly and sincerely hope that you enjoyed today's episode. If you did find this episode helpful or any of our other episodes helpful, please take a few seconds out of your day to leave us a five-star rating or some positive feedback comments on whatever podcasting platform that you're listening to us on. Or if you're watching that video version over on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel and click that thumbs up button. I wish you much success on your journey and I hope you have an incredible day. Take care. Bye-bye.